Carnegie Hall in New York City, the home of the world's greatest musical events. Today's event is one in a series of New York Philharmonic Young People's Concerts under the musical direction of Leonard Bernstein. And here is Mr. Bernstein. Hello again, all my dear young friends. Today's program is going to be very different from the ones we usually give. You see, ordinarily, we take a subject and talk about it with a lot of musical examples by the orchestra. As for instance, last time the subject was the music of Mahler, and the next time our subject is going to be unusual musical instruments. But today, we're going to have mostly music and almost no talk at all, which should please a lot of you who don't like to be lectured to in the first place. But I hope it may disappoint some others of you. But anyway, let me talk at least enough to tell you why this program is going to be different. As you must know, a conductor's life is not at all just a matter of getting up and conducting rehearsals and concerts. That's hard enough, but that's pie compared to all the other things he has to do, which I won't go into right now. But one of these many things he does is to spend hours listening to people who want to play or sing with his orchestra. And that brings me to the point of today's concert. Among all the hundreds of pianists and singers and violinists and cellists and kazoo players and everything else that I've heard over the years, there have been some very gifted ones, of course. And recently, there has been a specially gifted crop of young ones, mostly in their teens. This I find wonderfully exciting especially because with all the talk that goes on nowadays about teenagers and their problems and delinquents and gangs and all that, it's marvelous to see how many teenagers are serious, hard-working kids who are excited about music and find it fun. Well, this collection of talented young performers began to grow so big that I wondered how I could give some of them a chance to perform with our orchestra. And then I had the idea of the perfect place for them to be presented, right here on these young people's concerts in Carnegie Hall, where they can be seen and heard by other young people and by thousands of others here and by millions more on television. Now, just to make it a real festival of youth, we're going to hear some young conductors, too. See, here at the Philharmonic, we don't have the usual assistant conductor, but instead we have several assistant conductors who are young men chosen for their special conducting talent. They change every year, and they come from all over the country and from all over the world, in fact. Of course, they're not exactly teenagers, but uh, a young conductor has to be a little older than a young pianist or a young violinist because conducting takes so many years of experience and requires a certain grown-up authority. So even though they're already out of their teens, we can still safely call them young conductors. Here comes our first youthful genius. He plays the cello, and he plays it in a way I wish I could play the cello. His name is Daniel Dom. Daniel is 15 years old, and he comes from the land of Israel. He's going to play the first movement of Dvorak's concerto in B minor, a very difficult piece, by the way, but I heard him play it, and I couldn't believe my ears. It was so beautiful and grown up. Now, the orchestra part, which is also quite difficult, will be conducted by Kenneth Skirmahorn, one of our gifted young assistant conductors.
He comes, he comes from Schenectady. And as for me, I'm just going to sit down right here and enjoy the music, as I'm sure you will too. Thank you. 